What's up guys? Excuse the music, but I got a little something going back there. I'm trying to get myself going a little bit. I don't even usually listen to music while I'm working out that often. But I'm getting in the zone. Mike! Do the opening, okay? Okay. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. Today is Saturday, and if you keep up with my videos, you know Saturdays are my deadlift day. Take a look at what I've done. Let's take a look. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Don't freak out. I got my Olympic bar in here. I did have to move my machine over there a little bit. And then I got my bench kind of sitting up out the way over here. So I can kind of get my Olympic bar uh, off in here. Because I didn't feel like going outside to use it again like I did one day. And I wanted to do something other than use my easy curl bar that I use. And uh, so I brought it in here and kind of made some room. Anyway. I had a good week working out this week. Uh, if you followed my videos, you know I did a series of videos where I do only one, where I only do one movement for each body part on, on its uh, day that I work it out. Lots of theories in there that I have and different things. Go check out the videos. I think you'll enjoy them. Uh, they're short and sweet, to the point, and I uh, give kind of my explanation on things. So. As you can tell, whenever I showed you the bar down there, I got two 45s on there, one on each side. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and warm up with that. And uh, we're only going to shoot a couple of clips of this. And uh, I'm hoping to set a record. And I don't know how much that bar weighs. When I brought it in here, I swear it weighs like 150 pounds. So I don't know. That bar is a heavy bar and it's all worn out bar. I got it used. And, uh, along with those weights that are on it uh, from the same person. So anyway, I don't know where this is going. Let me go ahead and warm up. I may do a, a little video clip of my warm up. That way it's a, a light weight and you can kind of see my form. You can tell me if my form is okay. Help me out. That's what I'm here for. To help me out, to help you out. We all help out. All right, let's get going guys. Mm -hmm. All right, I put 25s on each side, but that comes up to 140. Uh, that is without counting the bar. We might count the bar in a minute whenever I get up heavier. Yeah, we might do that. I don't know exactly what the bar weighs. These bars usually weigh somewhere around 45 pounds, and I'm betting that bar weighs every bit of it. Also keep in mind this bar has no knurling on it. It's all worn out. Totally just like a worn out bar needs to be trashed. So I'm gonna do my best guys. All right, let's get this going. Alright guys, we got 160 on the bar now. 
All right, guys, we got two 45s on each side, so that's 180, not including the bar. Okay, this is 230, 245s, and a 25. And once again, I didn't add the bar in there. You can add that in there for me if you'd like. Okay, let's try and get this with uh, a few decent reps. As you notice, my rep count is going down. I don't want to wear out. Uh, I'm going to go for four reps on this. guys we got 250 on the bar not including the bar 245s and a 35 Okay, we got three 45s on each side, plus the bar. If you include the bar, it's 315. If everything is calibrated correctly, it would be 315. <clears throat> but we know that weights typically are not calibrated correctly, but for now, uh, we're gonna say it's, uh, Oh, let me see. It's 270 that I have wrote down because I'm writing down just the actual plates. But, you know, we know what it is. Okay guys, including the bar, we got 345 going, 345s, a 10, and a 5. Now my goal is to get this one time, and then my goal is to take those 10s and 5s off and stick a 25 on each end and get one. That's my goal. Let's do it. Oh. 
All right, guys, we got 365. 345s and the 25 and the bar. Alright guys, you seen that? That was 365 with the bar. Three forty-fives, a twenty-five, and a ten. That's three eighty-five. I'm gonna give it my dangdest. I promise. Okay, well you just seen me fail at 385. I want to get that one rep. I want to get it. This will be a PR if I can get one rep of this. I'm giving it one more try. And I hope that I don't yank my back out of place. Nope, can't do it guys. It's just that much too heavy for me. Man, I'm disappointed. I'm happy I got the two, I'm happy I got the 365 as easily as I did. I mean, you've seen that. It was pretty decent. Just going up 20 pounds, man, makes that much difference. I'm not gonna be down on myself. I've never been strong at deadlifts, ever. Uh, 25 years ago, I was never strong at deadlifts. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, however many years ago. Even at my biggest and strongest, I was never good at deadlifts. My back throws me off and, you know, you can only do so much. Now I have a goal of 400 pounds and that's as high as I ever want to go is 400 pounds. Just feel good to get 400 pounds. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. As you can tell, this workout was more about seeing what I can do versus last week. It was more about doing a lot of sets and a lot of reps, you know, kind of more of a high volume -ish kind of workout. So, I'm proud of myself for sticking in there and doing it. And uh, be proud of yourself, guys. Anytime you try to do something, it's not a failure. And uh, there's always next time. You may never reach that goal that you have, but at least you can be happy knowing that you tried. I know it sounds stupid and cliche and excuse kind of, you know, buttering it up, the, you know, the excuse, but it's true. At least you can feel like you tried and gave it your best. I mean, I just gave it my best two times there, so. Uh, 
there's always next time and I will eventually get uh, 385 I will eventually get it so guys I hope you enjoyed this little video I know it kind of went on a little long but deadlifts interest me uh, it's nothing that I want to compete at it's nothing that you know I single out and only want to do I do full body workouts you know from head to toe so I just like deadlifts because they're kind of interesting they're so simple but they're so complex and they involve your entire body uh, being connected 110% so you know to the weights to everything so anyway they can't they interest me so anyway please go back watch all my videos I try to put out decent content and uh, I try to inspire people daily along with inspiring myself I want to thank you for watching another episode of the body beatdown with me Michael the failure uh, anyway, I'm not a failure. I feel pretty good. All right? Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even if you do fail, keep trying. Now let me get all these dang weights off this bar. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.